Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Neville and welcome to Selective Imagery. everyone and welcome to new season different birds with winter on its way now now's the time where you do see some different birds or let's put it this way some familiar ones like this greater yellow legs but in lesser numbers so some of the birds that you saw a large quantity of say in the summer and fall kind of start fading away and then you start seeing some other birds uh, that typically show up in the winter time specifically. Now this year, um, for the first time in a few, we don't have any spoonbills left hanging around. Uh, we had some that actually went into January uh, last year, and right now we haven't seen any in a while. So you never know, you know what's going to happen as the season changes. And here's a still image of the yellow legs. And then, of course, like I said, there are, you know, your tricolored heron. There's just not as many of them. Uh, the gulls uh, and the terns, uh, they're showing up quite a bit more now, uh, even though they're here year round. The merganser, okay, that's something that you don't see until it gets cold. Uh, we've had buffleheads as well. And here's a video clip of a large group of mergansers. And typically, it seems like the females outnumber the males, you know, a good, I'd say, you know, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, something like that. Uh, although there is a clip in here where there was a small group, group of males, which was kind of neat. But it's like a whack-a-mole thing, you know, their heads go down. Then they pop up, then they go down, then they pop up. Fun to watch. And here's another bird that is a winter bird for us, the white pelican. Now there's only three here right now. Um, in past years, uh, and I'm not talking 10 years ago, I'm talking, you know, two, three years ago. I mean, we would get, you know, eight dozen you know, all following each other, all doing the sewing machine head action up and down in the water trying to get fish. Um, of course, the large flounder that they love to eat pretty much got wiped out from the fish kill events that we've had over the last few years. So they are getting some fish, but it's not the ones that they love to try to get. You can see a wood stork in the background. Uh, They've kind of dwindled off where there's only a few here and there. And we have a snowy egret amazed by its own reflection. Another shot of the snowy. And then we have a video, another video of the Mercansers having fun. I have quite a few videos that I took of these birds. They're just so much fun to watch. Uh, very engaging and you know typically they don't get super close to you I mean some of these videos they're with the 800 PF uh, they'll be in DX crop mode you know which is 2.3 times crop and if it wasn't for that lens and that crop factor that I get in DX mode uh, a lot of these videos, I wouldn't be able to capture the birds at all. They're just too far away.
but it's nice to see such a large group of them. Now back to what you normally would see um, is the um, ibis, although there weren't very many of them hanging around right now either. This snowy looks like maybe he had a little too much to drink. He's kind of crooked. And another merganser still male before we move into another video clip. Now here you can see there's a, a large grouping of males to the left and a grouping of females to the right. Now this was on the other end of the pond, or the other side of the pond, I should say. Now there were a few Especially in the still images, there was one in particular that got very close uh, to the bank, uh, which is really unusual. They, they see people and, you know, I mean, they don't like run away from you, but they, they'll move out farther away than you would like. But there was, you know, one in particular that didn't seem to be bothered by our presence on the sidewalk, taking pictures of it and got pretty close for some nice stills and then one of the last uh, video clips that I have of the mergansers is basically one swimming along and it runs into two more and they kind of travel together and they're very, very close. Very, very close. You see the one drinking water and the head goes down and they lift it up and they just they swallow the little droplets of water. Here's a little blue that was hanging out that, that one of these days. And the pelicans. Here's another uh, little video of the three of them just swimming around. Now the temperatures right now in Myrtle Beach, we're, we're in that phase where you could have a day where at 7 a.m. in the morning it could be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And then two days later, it could be 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, this will be at my house, which is not, you know, um, you know, half hour away from the of, from the park. So you get to the park where you have the ocean breeze. Uh, here's a great blue flying around, um, and some more merganser footage. But uh, when you get the 30 degree temperature and you're on the causeway at the park with a good wind blowing I mean you're gonna be five or ten degrees cooler than that so you know one day we're wearing like winter clothes and, and even gloves and a hat and everything and lined pants or, or thermals or what have you and then two days later you know yeah we might have a sweatshirt on but it's 60 degrees in the morning Well, we'll hit it. We'll hit a streak where we're gonna we're gonna end up with the sustained, you know, colder temperatures early morning, and you know we'll have that for three weeks or more, uh, with an occasional one or two day break in between. But uh, you know we'll start getting to where our highs are in the low 50s at the peak of the day. And you see the, the male here doing some serious bathing. Watching birds bathe is really, really a lot of fun. Boy, the effort they put in. Now we got some still images. Um, the seagulls, like I said, have been around like crazy. Uh, here's an image of one with a fish. The other one saying, I want that fish. 
great blue in flight. This was a shot that I wish I like it, but it could have been a lot better. I mean, I clipped the wing there, but I didn't really have a choice. It got too close for my 800. Here's one in flight, Osprey in flight with a fish. These were, these were right basically in my backyard. Um, a red-shouldered hawk, beautiful bird. And uh, we talked about this image uh, on my last live stream, and I'm gonna bring it up again to talk about it in a different uh, light. Uh, probably this uh, Saturday night and like I said there were some wood storks but not too many some great egrets hanging around but they're um, definitely a, a big surge in um, seagulls probably because the tourists aren't on the beach feeding them sandwiches <laughs> here's a gull with a fish in its mouth Usually you don't get get the picture of them with the fish because it's down their throat before your camera can even get the shot. Here's a little bit better one of the one with the fish and the other one it's like a football team, you know, one's got the ball and the other one wants it and here here he or she is swallowing the fish in flight. And here's the whole gang earlier in the morning before the sun really came up. And there's those three uh, white pelicans. And you can see all of the, um, you know, most of the birds flying around are seagulls and uh, predominantly uh, ring-billed gulls is what's been showing up. But there, there obviously there's quite a few species of gulls, but on this particular day, it was mostly ring-billed gulls. And, you know, this is once again with the 800 with DX mode with the 2.3 times crop on the Z9. And um, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get these images. And all these were handheld, believe it or not. I mean, they came out pretty good. Some, day, some days, uh, you know, it depends, you know, you do a lot of yard work or whatever, your ar arms are tired, and then you think you're gonna handhold the 800 for video, and it's not it's not working out well at all. And then other days, you know, if I'm well rested and got some energy level, uh, I can handhold the 800 even in DX mode and um, get some relatively smooth video out of it. I mean, obviously I try to lean against something if I can, or rest my elbows on something to help uh, make it steadier and uh, you know I usually have my don't always have my tripod with me but I have my monopod in the car but you know sometimes you just don't feel like using it you know if I'm if I'm at a point where I really don't have any video at all and I and I say well I'm not gonna worry about stills today I'm gonna focus on getting some video content and then that's when I might, you know, bring the tripod out or whatever because I'm not going to be switching back and forth. I like the water flowing off the uh, gull's neck there as it gets out of the water. And it's nice when you get the color of the sun in the background. Great egret. And we got a, a video of the smaller um, birds here taking a bath as well. They were um, at one corner of, you know, of the pond near a little outcropping of reeds. With the water levels dropped, uh, which is what the park likes to do nowadays. In the winter time to try to attract more ducks um, you know you get the man-made sandbars basically uh, in the pond side and uh, the water levels are low and you know some of these birds that normally would be over near the nature center on the marsh side 
uh, we'll hang out more in the pond than usual. And I showed these on my show or on a community feed, some of these uh, osprey shots with the, with the fish. Here he is kind of looking at me as he's flying by in the sky. Flying off with, another, with a fish. And the gulls, you know, they, they hit the water, they pop up, they don't always have anything. This one was hard to tell whether it had any food or not. And then they follow each other and heaven forbid one of them gets something. And here's a here's a fun short video clip of a great blue with a you know, halfway decent sized fish. You get to watch the whole process of him swallowing this sucker. This was very close to, uh, to shore. They dip it in the water a little bit to lubricate it, help it go down, and you can see it wiggling down the throat. <laughs> Here's one flying into a crowd. Some more Ruganzer uh, video footage and uh, with the sunlight hitting the water. So nice when you get when you get caught, you know, the reflection of some of the grasses and whatever falling into the water when the sun hits it just right or uh, you know, they have color in the water. And uh, some still images here of the merganser male. We got another video coming up. This is actually the last um, video clip that I have, uh, and it'll be the end of this uh, particular video. But yeah, this the single male is having a good time swimming in. It's gonna you know, bump into a few friends in a little bit. You'll get some images of it drinking water. Like that, there you go. Okay, now there's a couple more males there and some snowy egrets in the area. So I was trying to you know, focus on the mergansers, but the snowies sometimes follow them and they get into the frame, even though I don't really want them in the frame. You can see the bill <laughs> poking in on the far right of the screen here and there. And overtakes it, you know. Go back to one of the other ones. Another drink. Love watching them drink. It's so funny. Now we got the, the, the gang of three are back together again. We're all drinking water. Now well, they don't have to go out for a beer, right? They just sit in the pond and everything they want is there. They will catch a very, very, very small fish every once in a while. I've seen them with, with small uh, fiddler crabs and they really have a hard time with them. I mean, lots of times they think they're going to eat them and it just doesn't work out. They could be walking around you know, swimming around with them for 15, 20 minutes and have them in their mouth, drop them, have them in their mouth, drop them, and they finally give up. Thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Please give me a like and leave a comment, pro or con. 
just please be respectful. And if you really enjoyed it, you know, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And remember my motto, enjoy life, capture some of it, get out there and get some of your best images, irregardless of the genre that you choose to shoot. Take care and God bless.